In a previous video, we have seen that in function of the XPath, we can return more than one result. And if I return to the result in a web page, we can see that we have result many times, so we have many times formatted address. Here again, and again, and again, and so on. So, how can I return not the first one, but maybe the second or the third one? Well, we can customize the XPath. So here, I'm going to change my XPath, and I'm going to add result slash formatted address, enter. And this doesn't change the final result. But here, if I put between brackets the value 3, this time I'm going to return the third item in my list of address. One more, if I write 7, now it's the seventh item of the list. But we can do something more. Instead of to write the value, we can say maybe last one, like this. And it's the country United States. But if you know how many items you have, you can say it's the last minus four, for instance, like this. So you can always return what you want. But we can do better again. Let's return to the web page. Here, in function of the result, we have different type of address. Premise. Street address, another street address, root, neighborhood, and so on. So the idea here is to return the address in function of the type here. And how do we write that in the XPath? Well, like this. So I remove result here, and I write type equal simple code this time neighborhood and we return only the result for in neighborhood if i write root i return the formatted address of the type root but we can do better because if I just want to return the name of the city, you can see that I have this information here in this address component type locality. Well, I'm going to write this inside my XPath. So this time I take address component. So here it's not formatted address, it's address component where the type is locality, I close a single bracket, and then long name. And now I return only the city. And I copy these two formulas to the rest of my document. And it works more or less. So why it doesn't work for some of these cities? Well, let's check it. I select all my string here and you press F9. And the beauty to use F9 is to replace the content of the reference A8 and B8 by the result inside the cells. I copy this and very important, I escape. Like that, I return to the previous situation. I return to my web browser. So what is the problem here? Well, I have to find the type root but I don't have it. So if I replace by street address the type, it will work, but there is another issue. It's locality. There is no locality, but there is sub-locality. So in fact, here in the parameter I have used, there is two mistakes. But just to check, I'm going to replace by street address and sub-locality.
but I have another error spill that means this function wants to return the result not in one cell but in two cells. And the reason is because I have two time sublocality. So if I want to avoid this mistake, it's not sublocality that I have to write, but sublocality level 1 or level 2. And now it works.